Hey Tubers! Well, today's a banner day. I say that with every video, but today is truly a banner day. Uh, you might know if you've been watching some of my stuff that I broke my old video camera. So I've been using my laptop, which is uh, got the capture camera on the digital, web, uh, what do you call it, a webcam on the laptop, which is right here. And at the same time, for quality comparison purposes, I'm recording on my brand new Samsung digital camcorder, which is right here. And that's going to be fun to just have a look at the comparison. I'll play them uh, one before the other. And uh, so this one is the new Samsung digital camcorder. And this one here is the laptop, of course. Hey, Tubes, we're back. All right, we've got the welding finished on our auger. I'm going to show you a couple of nice ones. And I'll show you a couple of not so nice ones. So right in there, right there, I think you can, might be able to see that, maybe not, <laughs> there's a good one, and then of course on the ugly ones, which is right there, that's where you do all the grinding, but it's still nice and smooth, there's another one where we had to do a little bit of grinding, it seems like the easier welding was in the tight spot right in there, and which is where the factory welds were and the harder welding was on the on the part that wasn't 90 degrees right there and there so and it actually where the all the problems started was right here up to here and around the corner that's all welded fairly nice now so now we're gonna put a coat a coat of paint I call it a coat of hide on this, we'll hide it, hide the uglies, and we'll come back. BTHV1 over and out. Oops, sorry about that. BTHV1 over and out. Bye. Hey tubes, I'm back. So this is an interesting invention. I've got my welding table covered with a blanket so I don't spray paint it black. I'm gonna do the lower end of the, I'm gonna paint the lower end of the uh, auger black. And then we're going to take it off without getting too much paint on our gloves. And we're going to hang it by these two, by this hook that I've fashioned up. And we'll paint the top end. So that is our, whoops, that's our goal. And I'm going to just open the garage door and squirt that out the garage door and paint it outside. As I don't really want to paint my truck or my tractor or all my nice stuff in here. Yes, we got a shop tour coming up. Maybe tomorrow. When I have a lazy day, we'll do a shop tour. So, let's get the paint on here. And no, I'm not gonna paint my new camera. Hi guys. Well, we're done. Hey Tubes, I'm gonna show you something pretty cool on the zoom on this. We're going to zoom in on the uh, auger, maybe, okay we're going to zoom in on that top weld, okay let's look at the lower welds, that's fun eh, let's see if we can zoom in on that a little further, well, that's it. So anyway, let's go have a look at Larry's uh, auger. I'm gonna shake a little bit. It's the same place my chains were hanging from the other day. If I can get into the... Just hope everything holds there. Or my truck's going to get a big black scratch on it. Sorry about the varying light conditions here, folks. I got a little window in the garage and the sun shines right in. Which normally is very, very nice. So anyway, we're going to head back over to the bench. Just playing. 
So anyway, tubers, that's it. We're done the uh, auger for Larry. We're just waiting for the paint to dry. Isn't that something? Waiting for paint to dry. That means you're retired. And uh, I'm going to start my second project, which is going to be a gravel scraper, I think. We'll talk to you later. Bye. This is it. Of course you can't see. Looks great. Runs great. motor in in uh, stop. That's why it sounded like it was bogging down a bit. But yeah, she runs great. So I fixed the uh, motor last week or a couple weeks ago and it was just a carburetor clean. Uh, just needed a little bit of love. Uh, it's a still so it, uh, they're, they're nice to work on. And then I spent a few days thinking about it, what I was going to do with that broken broken screw assembly on that pipe and then you like you saw you saw the weld and and now it's all done she hopefully she's ready for somebody to go ice fishing and have a really good time so and, uh, and that's Larry so anyway there you go Larry you've got your ice your ice fishing auger hey dudes to do all this welding I used new to me my farm hand 115 volt MIG flux core wire feed welder and it did a really good job uh, right now I'm just using um, the flux core as I am also frugal but it worked just great and it was nice uh, to use the flux core because it was a bit windy and you don't get the uh, the as good of uh, welding in the wind when you go with uh, with gas so anyway, that's what I used. BTHV1 over and out.